Is it planner mania or glue book mania? Hmm. Hey, it's Care. Welcome to my take at the lake. So I've got about a billion things I need to be doing, but right now I'm doing this. Yeah. So I showed you the other day my beautiful 2024 dog planner that I got for Christmas. I don't think I showed you this gorgeous bugger that I got for myself for Christmas because uh, I need it for work, right? It has some stickers in it, one sheet, which is normal. I really like the way this is laid out. Dailies, goals for the week, what to do each day, goals for the week, reminders, important appointments, notes. I guess there's a, a week per two-page spread the month at a glance nice and big i like to work the size for my work calendar this is the size that i use for my daily and i had to laugh when i watched amy at doki doki forest's planner video she got a whole box of phenomenally fun stuff from hobonichi if you haven't seen that and you're the least bit interested in planners go check that out because she got some way cool stuff and i thought as we have been for the last several weeks um, on the same track as far as ideas even though we're not talking about it uh, ideas for uh, videos and projects and we seem to be on the same wavelength or the same path um, but but like her i have uh, different calendars for different uses i love this one this is just from walmart it's see it bigger it's about ten dollars uh, and it's a year a little bit over a year which is such a waste i you know i get it start it in january i don't know why they do that but they do it anyway january through december and it's one page per day a lot of times I'll list what I have to do on one side and what I did on the other because usually it's nowhere near that. Here's what I'm supposed to be doing. This is what ended up actually happening. So I like that it's huge and open. I don't usually go by the hours because my day starts earlier and it goes till about midnight, one o'clock. So I, I don't really regard this unless I have an appointment. Bitsy got her nails done today at 1130. So I put 1130 and circled it, Bitsy's nails on, on today's. But this is my personal daily, you know, do the laundry, today's garbage day, normal stuff. This is, and look how, as I've said in many, many, many videos before, I'm always late to the game. So many people, I've seen people doing their Valentine's Day crafts before Christmas was even here. Or they're doing their December dailies in October before Halloween. I got my December dailies done. It just, oh, it just, I don't get it. Unless you're selling it. I understand that. You have to have stuff ready to go when people are ready to buy. That I get. But if you're just crafting, I don't understand. I'm trying to be more in the moment and in the now. And But I'd also like to be caught up. This, by goal setting standards, should be filled out. I should know what I'm doing for the month. I got this A because I like the size, but I got this a few, uh, it's 20, 22, 23. And I'll show you. Um, I just really liked this set out. I got it on the clearance rack at Walmart. I think it must have been there by accident because it was like a $20 calendar and I got it for maybe five or six dollars and I just really love it so it goes uh, uh, obviously month at a glance but you have monthly focus reminder notes and then when you go through the day each day has the date maybe a task list maybe some notes sketching you know, if you're sketching out ideas or, you know, this, I just really liked the way this was laid out and wins this week. What went right? What really, you knocked it out of the park. Pay attention to that. That's all good stuff. 
more about that on PCU. We'll talk about that on the other channel. But I just really loved the way this was set up. And I didn't use it for some reason. I know. So I got this one because it was similar. I can still write in um, additional notes. I could make, a, you know, a part of it wins this week. I could write that in. In fact, I liked this one so much that even though it was mostly 2022, I uh, I changed... I just crossed out what day it was, and I used it anyway in 2023 because I just really, really liked how it was set up. And that's the reason I'm bringing this to you, and we're going to talk about glue book mania more than planner mania. So as far as planners go, you've seen my daily, you've seen my work, so we can put these away. Now I was using this one because I liked it so much, but a friend of mine gave me this one it's a 2023 planner and it's beautiful i love this pretty cover it's just you know yummy i just really like it and it's from a very dear friend of mine and i didn't want to just fill it up with work stuff or fill it up with daily junk and then never see it again and i already had a 2023 work thing going and i wasn't working much at all because of my because of my health. Anyway, what I ended up doing with this is turning it into a daily glue book. Now, I didn't have that idea until a little bit later in the, in the year, and so I didn't start on it until maybe, I don't know, June, July, somewhere in there. And I just wanted to take some magazines, harvest them right now, and use them right now. Because as many of you know, if you're new here, welcome, and you may me not know, I have about a hundred themes now that I collect for, and I collect for, and I store, and I sort, and I sort, and I store, which is great fun. I love doing that too, but I hardly ever get to glue book because I'm always keeping it for those projects. So this was just for daily glue booking. At the end of the day, I at, I think it was, I said it decided at 10 o'clock from 10 to 11 I'm going to turn off the big lights and just tear up some magazines if I have the energy today I'm going to glue the stuff down and if I don't have the energy today I'll tear it up and glue it down tomorrow I'm gonna, this is now going to be because I just love it so much this is going to be my daily glue book here and I've already started a little bit I was just itching to do something winter so that's kind of glue book mania. So I'm going to finish this one. I've got this one started. The reason I'm bringing you this, and I mentioned in the in the uh, Christmas haul video, my dog's one, is that I don't want to fill this up with daily stuff and then just have it disappear. So I, I want to do something special with this. I was thinking maybe a glue book thing, but today, for example, I had a lot of really, really good things happen. Two complete strangers snow blowed two feet of ice and snow out of my driveway so I could get out and do my errands. I don't know them from Adam. And they just did it because they were doing the neighbors and they saw me start my car. Super, super nice. Another guy the night night or two before took his little tractor and he went down through the whole neighborhood and he snow blowed two feet of snow for all of us. So I might keep this for those uh, wag more moments. More on that on, on PCU. I brought it here today because if you have something like this that's kind of themed, I was thinking about just filling it with dog pictures. We all know I have enough dog pictures to fill this 10 times. But now that I'm talking about it, it's going to be my WAG, W-A-G, Wonder, Awe, and Giggle journal. I've just decided. I don't know why it didn't occur to me earlier. If you want to know more about that, that's on PCU. We'll talk more there. PCU is my other channel, Positively Creative You, helping you create a life that you love, a life that you have always dreamed for yourself. Now, with the tools you have, super easy. Be more, have more, do more of the things you love. Anyway, that's what that's going to be. This is going to be my WAG More Journal. Very excited. Now, I have this planner. It's 2023 through 2025. <laughs> Wowzer. So I may just save this one. This one's not spiral bound like the other ones are. Um, 
this is just staples so if i'm going to start cramming stuff in here those staples are going to give and all the pages are going to give get loose and who needs that so i won't be using this one as a glue book the other ones these all have spiral they all have so that they'll take a lot you know it might get chunky and not close this one's almost full and it's not it's not horribly chunky it's not bad at all but that spiral bound can take it this one cannot so what i think i'm gonna do and just making decisions left right and center right here right here with you yes indeed you're good your good inspiration and vibes. So what I'm going to do is ignore, of course, how far does it go into 2025? Just till March. Why? I don't understand. All right, so here starts in January. Um, the end of December. Again, December. January. I love how this is set up. Important dates, important events, or, you know, goals, weekly goals, monthly goals, goals for the month, other, again, sketching things out. Here's a grid. You can do bullet journaling here, all kinds of things. There's January at a glance, and then uh, goes through each of the months like that. I think that's it. So this could just be a brainstorming journal for, so I think this will be where I kind of work out some ideas. I love all the open space to just jot ideas and, and sketch out things that I want to do and try. Um, sketch by, you know, physic like drawing picture sketches or sketches, just sketchy ideas, just making making notes of things that I want to do. So I think this will work in tandem with that beautiful purple one. Another thing that is uh, part of PCU, uh, I am huge into glue books. I love, love, love glue books. Just tearing paper and gluing stuff down, cutting and pasting, tearing and pasting. It just, it harkens back to those days of our childhood when we were just safe and happy and in you know in our own little bubble and all was right with the world like in the christmas story i think that's part of the reason why we like it so much and it's a no stress you cannot screw up a glue book no way no how you just can't and that's a really awesome no pressure kind of craft we can all get into but i think glue books are far better tools for a lot of things. Uh, if you're redecorating your house, do a glue book of mood boards, what each room's color seems going to be, what kind of vibe do you want each room to have, those kind of things. Or if you're planning an event, a wedding or somebody's anniversary, do a glue book. What kind of decorations do you want? Where do you think you're going to get them? What kind of timeline do you have? Put it all in one place. Uh, we're very visual when it comes to planning, uh, and and it's far more, oh, I don't know, intuitive or helpful to have all these wonderful images collected, all these ideas in one place. And so for any kind of planning, event planning, uh, planning your year, what I want to put on PCU, uh, Positively Creative You, is I think they this is a great place to do what everyone calls dream boards for my money they're reality boards because if it's something that you're dreaming of it's always in the future and it never is but our brains don't work that way it, it, if we see it as already done it's a done deal it'll happen eventually and that's all that's on pcu but that's what this is this is a dream board i love this you can't make me finding freedom i decide this is no ordinary gift. I am strong. I'm finding my way. I am I am on a mission and I'm being more true to myself every day. So this one, I won't show you too much here because it's personal, but uh, more on that on PCU. But this is another kind of glue book. It's just very goal driven. Uh, it has a, a, a purpose beyond gluing and pasting. So more on these on PCU. Now, let's talk about glue book mania. And I should have added, is it planner mania, glue book mania, 
or craft paper mania. We're going to talk about this here too. I'm just going to jam pack this video. So I'm sure you have seen by now, Nicola Relax Cut Glue has made a 12 by 12 giant glue book out of shopping bags. And I love craft paper. I, I just love, love, love craft paper. A long time ago, weeks and weeks, probably months ago now, if I'm honest, I had two paper bags from Meyer, and I, I just started folding them and folding them, and they, they got to be this great size. Oh, uh, let's see. Eight by seven. Just I just kept folding them and folding them and folding them to get them square. And I had two. I was trying to keep them neat to store them. And then I tucked them together and I thought, oh, that's a nice feeling thing. It could be a journal. It can certainly be a junk journal. If you're if you're late to the junk journal January, this is if you have two paper bags, fold them, fold them, fold them. And what I ended up doing was cutting off the bottoms and cutting off some of the sides and almost every page is different they have flip outs because these are the bottoms and the sides i'll have to washi tape that together because or not maybe reinforce that so it doesn't go anywhere um again i did not plan any of this i was i was folding them up for storage there's just a plain piece but here's a back and a side and it kind of origamis out you can leave it like it is glue some of these back together so you have little tuck spots or finish cutting them so that but look if you glued it you'd have this nice little tuck depending on how you glued it if you cut the rest of it well then you have some of it might come away and that's fine too you can always find use for it as tabs or something. Here's two bottoms that just happen to come together. Um, again, another origami. I cut it too much and it came apart. Oh, that's a nice square. That's a nice tuck. Another piece that came off. You can either tip it back in with washi tape, use it for embellishments, throw it out entirely. But here's, here's a tuck. I could glue here and here and have a pocket. This is, I didn't do anything other than fold it and cut those side and bottoms off. Um, I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to use it, so I haven't glued anything yet. But you could glue two sides together and have a, a pocket right here. Here's another piece that came apart. That's an interesting thing. Does that one open up? No, no. So they're all different. There's two bottoms again, or a bottom in half. I don't understand it all. I don't know how it works. But it, like I said, it's a super quick way to get a junk journal January. It's it's only 12 days in. You can do it any time. Uh, this is, or you know, whip a couple of these up if you have extra garbage bag excuse me grocery bags and be ready for the next challenge whatever that is there's also a glue book january at caged fish uh, meg journals is doing the uh, junk journal january she's been doing that for a couple years there are other challenges out there for sure those are the two that i know off off hand so i love this could be a glue book could be a junk journal could be anything craft paper yeehaw well today was grocery day and i grabbed I used a few of Meyer shopping bags, and I'm going, and I got this, this, I got more gifts, and one of them came in, something came in here, it's a giant gift bag, I love this gingham, and the inside is just more craft paper, so I'm going to make this, I don't know if it'll be 12 by 12 or not, for now I'm going to leave the handles on it, I don't know if I'll keep them forever and for true but I'll probably I'm going to cut the bottom off and fold it and see what I come up with I'm going to try to do that on camera it's awfully big and this workspace is not awfully big the last couple things I wanted to show you I've been I've had this on my desk forever but 
more about glue book mania. I saw Christina did this on Christina's shack and I think it's a fabulous idea. I think she said her mom likes to do, or maybe she likes to do seek word find, seek a word or whatever these are called. And I happen to have a couple of these in the living room that I always thought, well, I'll do that if I'm bored. There isn't one in here done because I am never, ever bored. I never have an extra few minutes to just do something like this. Maybe I'll put this at my nightstand and, and uh, do this at night, kind of unwind. But anyway, once they're done, using it, oh, that's not very good one. well, we could, um, using it as a glue book and using this as your prompt. So it might not be New England winter, it could just be winter. And you could try and find, use it as a scavenger hunt glue book, try and find a birch tree, a picture of a blizzard, something blustery, a boathouse, bundling up, chilly, or just fill it with pictures that you like that are winter related and use the, the uh, terms watery vessels. Um, so watery vessels, kayak, raft, schooner, skull, skiff, slope, these are all boat type things. Watery vessels could be anything, vases, uh, water bottles, uh, flasks, um, you know, you can use this or disregard it completely and, and fill this up. Now, these are just glued together. They're not sewn, so I don't know how chunky they could get. You may have to tear some out. Um, you know, if there's something that you just really don't want to do, like one word movie titles, tear that out and make yourself some extra room. But I just thought that was such a fun idea. And the same week that I saw her do this, I had, I had hauled this at a St. Vinny's Hall a while ago and I put this posted on it. This would be, I don't know if you remember this, this is from um, Colgate Palm Olive, and it had a lot of beautiful vintage reproduction ads in it. This is old, so e even though they were reproductions, it's still vintage. Because but this would make a great, it's spiral bound. But again, do all A's, words that begin with A, pictures that begin with A. If you could do all A words on the front, and then A or B Oh, no, they do give you a couple. Okay, all right, that's nice. So you could decide um, A words on the front and A pictures here. B words and B pictures, and now we're on to C. However you want to do it, but this would be another fun. It's not too big, not overwhelming. It's easy access. We all have old address books lying around, I think. Someone we know has an old one anyway. Uh, and it would just be great fun to fill it up alphabetically another different way to do glue booking uh, if you're looking you know like why well, do I, I don't like to just do random stuff and I get that but this gives you a path a theme something to jump off for so you're sitting out looking for something to do go through a couple magazines and find and find everything that starts with K and put in kites and kayaks and catch up and I can hear you, but I can't make out the words you're saying. All kinds of K things. Find things that start with K and glue them down. So, two great easy ways to to have a great start into glue booking. And if you're new to junk journaling, glue booking is an easy in. It gets you looking at stuff differently. It gets you getting to know how well your glues work or don't. It gets, you know, do you need smaller scissors? Do you like how your scissors cut? Um, do you need a chopper? You know, it kind of gets you to understand your your tools a little bit better, your tastes, your likes, your dislikes, those kind of things. Glue books, I cannot say enough about glue books. And it's a fabulous stress reliever because there's no way to screw it up. You just cannot do do bad at glue booking.